Hello everybody, Andrea Majeski here with Dental L Tutoring. So you have found this video either because you are on my channel and you have been watching me for a while. So I do tutor dental hygiene and dental assisting students. Um, and I do help um, dental hygienists with their portfolios and the quality assurance exams as well. Or you have found me because you are looking into this toothpaste and you want an honest opinion about this new skin AP24 toothpaste. So I was sent a tube. This is what it looks like. Can everybody see that okay? Sorry for the lighting. This is what it looks like. Okay, so and it's a good size, by the way. So I was sent a tube about a week ago to try it. I've been taking, or I did take before photos with my cheek retractors. So yes, they are like actual photos of my my uh, teeth. My my mouth looks horrible, you know, I just, you know, you think you look okay, but then you put the cheek retractors in and you're kind of like, what the heck is this, right? Um, so I've been using it for, I'd say about a week now, actually. So here is my honest review. And for those of you, again, who have been watching me for a while, you know I'm honest. I say the truth. I don't lie about anything. I say things that I probably shouldn't even talk about half the time, like my horrible instructors that I had when I was in school and how you are probably dealing with the same thing and how to overcome that. So I have just talked about random things. Um, but I think that's what makes things interesting. So my first thoughts on this toothpaste, okay? My first thoughts were I don't even want to want to to try it. I don't want to hear about it. It's all over social media. Somebody's obviously just selling it to make money from it. You know, why else would it be all over social media? Because if you look into it, yes, it is from a direct sales company. If you've been looking into these companies, you all know at this point that people who sell the products make a commission. Typically, they have to make a certain amount every two months, every three months, even every month. They have to make certain quotas to be a part of the company and to still make commission. So more than half the time, what happens is they end up buying stuff that they don't you know, need necess necessarily, hoping that they can sell it to maintain that commission and be a part of the company. That's what typically happens in, in direct sales. So I wasn't interested in being a part of it. I was actually sent a tube for free and asked to review it. At first I said no, because just so you know, I am honest. If I don't like a product, I will say so. As soon as a company hears that, because I have been asked to review products before, as soon as a, um, a company hears me say that, they typically go, okay, we're not interested then. We only want you to say something if it's a good review. Um, all of the celebrities out there, they might hate the products, but they're reviewing something because they're being paid to say how amazing it is. Okay, so be careful. But um, anyways, they said I can say whatever the heck I want, which is great. Um, a lot of people were asking me about it. In fact, I even did a post about it maybe two weeks ago, because that's when I started to look into it more about has anybody heard of this like what am i getting into here i've been asked to review it like what do you guys think you know be honest a lot of people said the toothpaste sucks a lot of people said um it's just people trying to sell the toothpaste they're making money from it but it sucks right so that kind of put like a bad taste in my mouth i thought okay if it sucks and a lot of people say that then i'm not interested in it right because of course if you talk to somebody from the company, they're going to say how amazing it is. But I looked into that a little bit and just a quick background story. So I'm just gonna show you guys the toothpaste again, right? So a quick story is everything that I thought about direct sales is wrong with this company. Anybody who sells it does not get paid to have people sign up under their team. They do not have to order a certain amount every single month. They do not have to sell a certain amount every single month to make a commission. Every tube of toothpaste they sell, they make about $10 a tube. That's as simple as it gets. They do not have to have home parties. They do not have to, you know, like ask their friends, families, coworkers to buy, 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 buy. They don't have to do any of that. Sorry, I thought I heard somebody. 
So I was wrong. It is a direct sales company, but not the typical one. Even to sign um, to sign up as a brand um, affiliate, a brand affiliate, nobody has to pay. Typically, if you sign up for a direct sales company, you you have to buy this big kit. The kit's always amazing, but you have to spend like two hundred, three hundred, three hundred dollars, right? But with this company, with this toothpaste company, um, you don't have to buy a kit. You don't even have to pay to sign up as a brand affiliate. So what does that mean? A brand affiliate means that you can make a commission from the tubes of toothpaste that you sell. You don't have to be a brand um, affiliate. You can simply sign up as a customer and then just, you know, order the toothpaste for yourself. You know, easy, right? But the nice thing about a brand affiliate is that let's say you order eight tubes of toothpaste, you will get one free. So that's kind of nice, right? And, and you know, if you're just looking at Christmas presents and you want like a simple whitening toothpaste, everybody wants a whitening toothpaste, guys. As a brand affiliate, you will also get half off a tube of toothpaste. So a tube of toothpaste for a brand affiliate is about $13. For a customer, it's uh, depending on where you live, it's $38 total shipped, or if they can pick it up from you, it is um, $28 um, total. So if you're a brand affiliate, then you can buy it for a lot less. And if you buy eight tubes of toothpaste, you will still get one for free. So you know what, um, at the time, I was like, well, you know what? Um, I like the toothpaste so far. So let me talk about first my review, my honest review, the good, the bad, the ugly, okay? I like the toothpaste so far. So right away, um, when I started using it, even after the first time, my teeth felt just cleaner. Not just cleaner, but they did feel a lot smoother. I thought, okay, that's pretty cool, right? Um, and it made me pay more attention to when I'm brushing. I brush for two, um, two minutes, but even, even me, it's kind of a hassle. I'm like, okay, am I done yet? Like, come on. Um, I use an electric toothbrush, so that helps to tell me when I'm done. But with this toothpaste, I wanted it to work. So I probably brushed for like three minutes, which is always a good thing, right? We all want people to brush, including, of course, ourselves, right? Um, I love the taste of it. It's kind of like a vanilla mint taste. But the thing about this one that not a lot of people like is it does say even on the back that you have to use or you should use the toothpaste on a dry brush. So with me, I would always put on the toothpaste and then um, rinse it under running water and then brush my teeth. But with this one, don't use any water. Use a dry brush and of course do not rinse the mouth afterwards. A lot of people are just used to doing that. So that might be hard for some people. I thought that it would be harm for, uh, harm, hard for me too because I've never ever since, since I was a kid used a dry brush. But I didn't even notice it because it does um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? It does foam up a little bit anyway. So that doesn't bother me at all. But I can see for some people, they might not like that, right? So that can turn people off a little bit when I tell them, make sure to use a dry brush. They go, what? Why? You know, that's intense. It's not really intense. But, but if you're telling somebody to do something that they're not used to doing, they think you're like crazy. Um, but that didn't bother me. Honestly, my teeth feel cleaner and, and they're just a lot smoother too, but that's part of why the toothpaste works. So I've mentioned this in a video before because I did look into it, but part of why this toothpaste works is because it does have patented molecules that get into our cracks um, of the teeth. We all have them. That's what causes stain, right? But it will get into those cracks, clean out the stain, and then also leave a nice thin layer. They call it a surfactant over top of all of the teeth to prevent stain from coming back in. I can tell. I can tell. Like I want to get my teeth clean because I am actually due for it. 
and just really see how how long it takes for my stain to come back because I get stain like crazy. But since using this, I haven't noticed any additional stain, but it's only been a week. So I'll let you guys know. Um, so that's my honest review. I think everybody should try it. It is less abrasive than Sensodyne, less abrasive than all of the toothpaste out there that claim to be less abrasive. It's less abrasive. I have looked into it. I have checked out all the ingredients. I have checked out where it is on the Denton um, abrasiveness, you know, scale. It is a 103, whereas Sensodyne, I believe it said 220. Shoot, I can't remember now. But that's obviously a big difference. You want the lower the number. So the first thing that I get people say is, well, is it abrasive? Or, oh my God, it's so abrasive. It's not. And, <coughs> sorry, guys, excuse me. That was embarrassing. I really had to sneeze. It's less, oh, somebody sending me a message. Um, it's less abrasive than any other toothpaste out there. That was my main concern because I use Pro Enamel with Sensodyne, the stuff that I get at Costco. Um, because I have thin enamel, I have sensitive teeth. I was afraid to switch it up to a different toothpaste. I haven't noticed any issues, you guys. My teeth feel great, no sensitivity. So I want other people to try it and tell me what they think. Honestly, um, I want honest opinions, please, honestly. Um, and the nice thing too is, you know, as you tell people about it and they love it and want to order tubes of toothpaste, you can sell it to them and make $10 a tube. Yes, that doesn't seem like a lot, but I know um, when, when I was just talking about it with my, um, I did a post on my private Facebook page, or I'm sorry, on my Facebook timeline. And then I did a post um, to my students to just see if anybody wants to try it with me. You know, I just started using this toothpaste. Who wants to try it with me? Who wants to give me their honest opinion? People wanted it. Um, I sold a ton. I think I made about $312 that day, you know, and just by being honest and telling people about this toothpaste that I love so much. So it's pretty cool, right? That's my honest, honest review. If you want to try it, let me know. Um, I can leave my link on the bottom if you want to purchase it. I will leave my email also if you have any questions. If you want to sign up to make some money, let me know. I can help you. You don't have to buy anything, you guys. Seriously, and I can help you because I'm right here, right? Um, even I am doing a webinar tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time to just kind of talk about my experience with the whole thing, um, talk about the toothpaste, and talk about how you can make some extra money. It can't hurt you guys since you don't have to buy anything. Um, and I can actually leave the link at the bottom too to sign up for the webinar if you want to because it will be live um, and the, re uh, the replay will be available afterwards too. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in. So again, it's the AP24 New Skin Toothpaste that everybody's been talking about. Um, I'm not being paid now, by the way, to talk about it. I'm just honestly talking about it. I'm not being paid as a reviewer right now to talk about it. It's my honest, honest opinion. So let me know. If you guys have any questions, if you want to sign up, if you want some toothpaste, whatever, let me know. I will hook you up. So thank you guys so much for watching.